Well, hello again, everybody. You are currently listening to Dak from the Ed Boys, and Dak from the Ed Boys is about to give you episode three of the Road to 100 Mil. We are starting off today by ignoring the amount of cash we have in the inventory, even though that's all of our cash, and buying a knife. Really? Didn't buy that much? All right. All right, hold up. I got to go check this price. Buying a knife at... I'm going to put 250 in and just hope. Uh, it's, it's really not that big of a deal spending a little bit of extra cash on a knife. Even spending a little bit of extra cash on some supplies right now wouldn't be bad. But we only have to buy one knife, so even if it costs like 5k, whatever. I'm going to make that money back. Really hoping to hit that white cash stack in this episode, guys. Um, we It's episode 3 and I haven't made really any money yet. But I got a few things that I needed to get done out of the way. Not really a lot. Holy cow with these logs. But what we're doing today is starting off with some fletching. That's why I'm buying a knife and some logs. How am I going to train fletching? I'll tell you in a minute when I get some logs. I did manage to get a few logs to buy. I've been turning them all into arrow shafts. That's all I've been doing for these levels. I'm currently trying to get to 15 fletching, and then we can start working with some oak logs. I'm probably going to do a pretty large amount of arrow shafts for a while, uh, just because I, well, I think it's fascinating, I guess, that they eventually made it. So, what is it? It's the level that it requires to fletch the logs. That's how many arrow shafts you get from it. No, that's stupid, because you get 15 originally. So, it's level plus 15. Ah! So you get 15 arrow shafts from these regular logs, but eventually with oak logs I get 30, and then with willows you get 45, so on and so forth. Uh, I, I believe willows would be the maximum amount of profit you could get with making arrow shafts, because willows are ridiculously cheap. But at the moment we're really not even making profit, we're just trying to break even is kind of the idea. But eventually, once I get a higher level, we'll make some more money. It's just low level fletching, guys. You can't make that much. Well, I did not buy myself enough logs to get all the way to 15 fletching so I'm just buying some more logs right now but hopefully at the end of this stack of logs we'll be at a magnificent level of 15 fletching 20 fletching yes I passed 15 I realized 15 wasn't that big of a deal because I also realized that arrow shafts were down to about 1 GP a piece probably due to the update that I previously mentioned I guess I just didn't check price I just assume they'd still be three or four. So I guess we still made profit on regular logs. No, we really didn't make. You know, at this point, we're still not that <laughs> worried about profit. I'm just trying to get some levels. I'm going to 30 wood cutting. 30 wood cutting. Oh gosh, I'm losing my mind with this fletching. Going to 30 fletching, guys. I'm trying to get to willows. Willows, I should make some profit with arrow shafts. I am unfortunately going to have to buy some more logs because I've yet to hit 30 fletching where I can. Finish up my arrow shaft adventures. I believe in these things, guys. I won't do them for very long, but I know there's some potential there, and that's what I've been trying to find for the past probably four or five minutes of this episode. And, and we haven't gotten that far in these four or five minutes. Look at this. We're down to 4.7K. I said I would be at a white cash deck at the end of this. i got to buy some more logs. I don't know exactly how many I need. I want to do the regular logs because they don't lose as much money. Currently... Uh, fletching oak logs is like a ridiculous loss. I don't, okay, I need to check how much XP I have to go. Whew. I'm going to have to sell some stuff. I definitely, these mithril seeds probably do the job. This is what I'm getting to. I'm selling some of my quest rewards. Yes, so far the fletching endeavors are looking ridiculous. About as ridiculous as my woodcutting endeavors that we started this series with. So I, at this point, honestly, can't even believe you guys are still here. But we got a 10k cash stack. I still need 3,037 XP. Just doing a... Did some quick math. I'm just kidding. I used a calculator. I, I, I probably could have done that in my head, but it's... I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time while I do it, so... It really doesn't make much sense to try to do the math in my head, too. 122 oak logs. Gonna be real quick to level 30 at this point, and then we can get back to some more arrow shafts. I can't believe we made it all the way to... 30 fletching my last three now two and one logs there we have it 30 fletching we can now fletch willow logs into arrow shafts i almost said willow shafts hmm maybe there's an idea behind willow shafts no that's ridiculous guys i'm gonna buy some willow logs sell these bows for the near 1k they are luckily willow logs are unbelievably cheap this is stupid i want to say this is gonna say like eight coins Wow, nailed it. I almost said seven. I almost said seven coins. We'll buy them for nine. We'll buy right away. Get a good stack of 500. Get to turn this into, you get 45 shafts per log. So 500 times 45 would be like too much. I don't know. It's a lot. It's, I'll see you guys when I'm done with it. You know what? Don't, you know, you know, you know. 
I've got so many arrow shafts to sell right now. I'm about to go to bed though, so I'm going to try to sell them for two coins a piece instead of one, potentially doubling our profits. It would more than double the profits because every coin that I add on to it right now is pure profit because I already paid for the cost of the logs with the original coin that I make from the shafts. Anyways, I'm going to hope that these things sell overnight. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, some of these sold overnight. Not very many, but I'll take it. Whatever. We can put them down to one GP. I would assume these are going to sell kind of quickly. I've I've had some luck with them selling so far, but there's a lot of arrow shafts. Like who who's buying arrow shafts? Anybody out there? Like maybe maybe people trying to flip or buying them from one coin, selling them for two. But really, I don't know who needs these things. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed that those are going to sell. And while we cross our fingers that we're selling arrow shafts, we're going to make some more. I'm going to buy a bunch more willow logs, return them into arrow shafts, and we'll we'll just see how this goes. I don't think any of the arrow shafts that I had in the Grand Exchange have sold. Not one of them. So what are we going to do with 50,000 plus arrow shafts? I have an idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put feathers in the back of them, make some headless arrows, and sell those. Uh, a, a feather is going to cost me, I want to say it's going to be three coins a piece. I, I have high hopes that this is going to buy, even though nothing has bought for normal price for me in this series. Look at that. Three coins a piece. They sell for six or seven a piece, headless arrows. So let's say six a piece. We're getting three extra GP profit from this one and over 50,000 of these arrow shafts. It's like 150K. So if this works out, we are going to be at a white cash stack by the end of this. And that was my goal. So as ridiculous as this has been, it looks like it's going to work. All right, I'm willing to even drop this price down for these last little bit. It's only the last 8K of them, so I'll get 8K less profit. I I I'll admit, it's whatever. Uh, they didn't originally even sell for come on, four coins a piece. I, I thought they were going to sell for six or seven a piece this whole time. They never really did. So we're not at the 100 plus K that I thought we would get to. But 75K stack with another 20K plus coming is not too bad, especially for how ridiculous those fletching endeavors were. Uh, a lot of different, lot of feather buying actually. The feather buying limit is only like 13,000, so that was kind of a pain. But now I'm moving on to some gold amulets. If you can't tell by the amulet mold and gold bars, gold bar offers, excuse me. Uh, if you don't know this little trick, I'm just buying a gold bar for as much as I can and then selling it back for as little as I can, just to see the maximum buy and sell prices, so I can get an idea of how much I am willing to spend on it. I usually get pretty close to that that instant buy price, especially with cheaper things where it's not like a ridiculous difference. Uh, I'm still gonna make profit. There's no doubt about it. And I just I'd rather not wait here for these gold bars. I'd rather just get going on making these gold amulets. So eventually, I'll wait for them to buy, but then we'll go make some amulets. I am buying my amulet mold from this guy in Al Kareed because he is selling it to me for only 5 coins instead of the 1k I was going to put in the Grand Exchange. Of course, if it was only 1k, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I only, I only have to buy one. It's just 1k, whatever. But for lower level players or Iron Man, that's a great place to buy it. Also, for free to play players, this is a really good method to make some cash. Making gold amulets, you want to use this furnace that I'm running by right now. This one over here. It's got to be 60 to 70k an hour on average. Clearly, it changes due to prices, but it's a pretty good moneymaker and it doesn't require membership. Gold amulets. This is a pretty solid way to make cash. It's far better XP than bowstrings, but bowstrings is another crafting method that I'll be hitting up very soon. Very possibly in the next episode. If not, very, very soon. I can promise you that. But guys, like I said before, it's a really good low-level moneymaker. If you are a member, you probably should use the Edgeville Furnace. It's the closest furnace according to the wiki, or at least one of the top three. At least the others are all within one space. Uh, and it doesn't require anything but membership. So there's that. There's 10 crafting. That was ridiculously quick. Now I can make bowstrings, which I was just talking about. But we'll talk about that more in the future rather than in this episode because I'm not making bowstrings right now. I'm doing gold amulets. I'll be doing a bunch of gold amulets. I would like to hit up the Grand Exchange uh, at least once selling these gold amulets and buying more gold bars in this episode. So this will likely bring us, uh, it'll definitely bring us over the 100k mark, but hopefully over the 200k mark. And it'll be a lot quicker and more AFK when I'm not leveling up as often. I don't have to continuously use my gold bar in the furnace. But uh, it's, it's slightly AFK. There's definitely an AFK aspect to it, which is kind of a big deal to me. So gold amulets might be something we come back to a few times. But we'll see. It's, it's not phenomenal, and there are definitely better AFK moneymakers out there. Time to sell these amulets for a little bit of profit. Uh, I would definitely like to get myself to a cash stack big enough that I don't have to come back and sell my amulets to buy more gold bars or whatever supplies and items that I'm 
I'm, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. You guys get what I'm saying. I don't want to have to take as many grain exchange trips, even though this one is really short due to the fact that I'm in Edgeville. It's still, for things like dr tanning dragon hides, for instance, I really want to do that for a moneymaker, but if I can only buy a couple hundred dragon hides at a time, it kind of sucks to keep having to go sell the hides and buy more, or excuse me, sell the leather and buy more hides. Similar idea with these gold amulets. Uh, won't be that big of a deal with flax to bowstring, because flax is like 5 GP a piece. But uh, I'll be buying another couple hundred gold bars, and let's go make some more cash. 43 crafting, easily my highest level at the moment. Uh, it's, it's, it's really quick with gold amulets. I have not been doing this for very long, and it's extremely AFK. So overall, it's a kind of a good way to start off crafting, is just making gold amulets. And I, if you recall, I got 8 crafting just from doing, I believe it was the dwarf cannon quest that got me to 8 crafting. So... This is the only crafting that I've done, and I'm up to 43. We're about to see how much money I made from it. We started, at, we were at like 75k, plus another maybe 24 to 30k coming from those arrow shafts. So right around 100k going into this, and I believe we're breaking the 200k mark. I'm not 100% sure though. We'll see. I do have to kind of buy sell trick and see how much money I'm going to put these in for. If they don't sell right away, then this isn't going to be the last uh, the last clip of the episode. I will have one more coming back. But otherwise, I am going to be wrapping it up here in a minute once we get an idea of how much I can sell these bad boys for. I am kind of lucky at the moment. Dang, we're really lucky at the moment. It's not even buying yet at 284. Uh, the, the gold amulets have been skyrocketing in price over the past hour or two. Just one, just a spike that happens. I don't know exactly why it happened. Merchanting clans, less people. I don't know. There's many things that could have happened, but at the moment there is a small spike, uh, kind of a big spike, but it'll only it will only last a little bit of time. Is what I'm trying to get to. So I'm a little bit lucky in that aspect, honestly. Uh, a little bit of a spike in price just means my profit was extended a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait a minute. Let these bad boys sell. Here is the clip that's going to wrap up the episode. Let's see how much cash we have. Sold for just about 200k, giving us 211k. So we finally got that white cash stack. Only took us three episodes. Uh, it's not phenomenal yet, but we have something to work with now. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining in today. I do hope you enjoyed. I know that I did. And I will see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and tell us what you enjoyed about it. If you're looking for some more RuneScape videos like this one, then be sure to join the cul-de-sac by subscribing for more. We will see you next time.